Hello there. In our last session, we saw how to interface a switch or a digital input to the Arduino microcontroller or Arduino boards. This session is a very quick session, which is about interfacing of a buzzer. A buzzer is a small piezo element, which comes either in this kind of format or this kind of format. This one, which you can see, is a PCB mounting type buzzer. And this one has two different wires. Both of them can operate from 3 volt to up to 30 volts and they can easily operate at 5 volt of Arduino. Interfacing with the buzzer is fairly easier when it comes to Arduino board. Every buzzer is a piezo buzzer and it has an internal circuitry which can generate the sounds for it. It has an anode as well as a cathode terminal clearly marked onto the body of buzzer. Plus this kind of buzzer has red and black wires which clearly signifies that it has one pin acting as ground, other pin acting as the VCC or supply voltage. You can test any buzzer by directly connecting its positive voltage to 5 volt of Arduino and negative pin to the ground of Arduino. So by directly connecting it to the 5 volt and ground, the buzzer can turn on immediately. When you want to control it from the Arduino pins, you can connect the anode of this buzzer or the positive of this buzzer to a microcontroller pin, Arduino pin like this. Here, the red or positive of this buzzer is connected to pin number 9 and black or the negative is connected to ground. The beauty with buzzer is you just have to simply write high onto this pin and the buzzer will turn on. You write low onto this pin and the buzzer will turn off. Moreover, if we do this high, low, high, low at a very higher rate or at a very faster rate, then we may observe different sounds with the buzzer. So it totally depends upon us how we want to make a buzzer on off. If we want a simple beep, then we'll just make it high, small, low and immediately make it, sorry, if we, if we just want a beep, then we'll make it high, a very small delay and immediately we'll make it low. If we want a continuous beep, then accordingly our programs will change. Apart from just creating beeps by making it on and off, Arduino also provides us with a tone library which facilitates the usage of buzzer. This tone library can generate a, any particular frequency, any particular given square wave frequency onto any pin of the Arduino. Here we have used pin number 9 and that's why we are showing pin number 9 in the block. So this can be used to generate various tones. All you have to do is select the desired pin and desired frequency with which you want to turn on the buzzer. So there is not much into the programming of this buzzer interfacing, but what we'll be doing is we'll be looking at the buzzer programs and how their outputs sound like. Thank you. Mm -hmm.